come to my assistance. Glory begins to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and filled the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command. And all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, how I wonders are displayed where I turn my Survey the ground I tread, or gaze upon the sky. There's not a plant or flower below, but makes thy glories known. And clouds arise and tempests blow by order from thy throne. While all that borrows life from thee is ever in my care, and everywhere that we can be, thou God our present Father who sent me has himself bore witness to me. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives life and teaches the simple. I open my mouth and I sigh as I hear who your command. Turn and show me your mercy, show justice to your friends. Let my steps be guided by your promise, let no evil rule me. Redeem me from man's oppression, and I will keep your precepts. Let your face shine on your servant, and teach me your decrees. Tears stream from my eyes because your law is disobeyed. Lord, you are just indeed. Your decrees are right. You have imposed your will with justice and with absolute truth. I am carried away by anger, for my foes forget your will. Your promise is tried in the fire, the light of your servant. Although I am weak and despised, I remember your precepts. Your justice is eternal justice, and your law is true. The anguish and the stress have seized me. I delight in your command. The justice of your will is eternal. If you teach me, I shall live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Father who sent me has himself borne witness to me. The woman was given.
and the two wings of the great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness. O God, listen to my prayer, do not hide from my pleading. Attend to me and will fly with my cares they cannot rest. I tremble at the shouts of the foe, at the cries of the wicked. For they bring down evil upon me, they assail me with fury. My heart is stricken with a new death's terror is on me. Trembling and fear fall upon me, and horror overwhelms me. Oh, that I had wings like a dove to fly away and be at rest. <coughs> so I would escape far away and take refuge in the desert. I would hasten to find a shelter from the raging wind, from the destructive storm, O Lord, and from their plotting tongues. For I can see nothing but violence and strife in the city. Night and day they patrol high on the city walls. It is full of wickedness and evil, it is full of sin. Its streets are never free from tyranny and deceit. If this had been done by an enemy, I could bear his taunts. If the rival had risen against me, I could hide from him. But, but it is you, my own companion, my intimate friend. How close was the friendship between us? We walk together in harmony in the house of God. May death fall suddenly upon them, let them go to the ground. For wickedness dwells in their homes and even their hearts. As for me, I will cry <coughs> to God, and the Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon, I will cry and love. He will deliver my soul in peace and the attack against me. For those who fight me are many, but he hears my voice. God, God will hear and will humble them, the eternal judge. For they will not amend their ways. They have no fear of God. The traitor has turned against his friends. He has broken his word. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are naked swords. Entrust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. He will never allow the just man to stumble. But he, O oh God, will bring them down to the pit of death. The seedful and bloodthirsty men shall not live half their days. O Lord, I will trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The woman was given the two wings of the great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness. From letter to Colossians. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Lord, I will offer you a sacrifice of praise. And I will call upon your name. Lord, I will offer you a sacrifice of praise. And I will call upon your name. Let us pray. God of mercy, this midday moment of rest is your welcome gift. Bless the work we have begun. Make good its defects. And let us finish it in a way that pleases you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give Him thanks. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Amen.
merciful Lord Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, the Lord will would survive. But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord. More than watchmen for the night. Let the watchmen count on daybreak. Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their sins. Merciful Lord Jesus, grant them eternal rest. Angelus Domini non si avit Marie, et concepit Spiritus Sanctus. Ece Angela Domini, fia mihi secundum verbum tuum. Et verbum caro factum es, et habitavit in nobis, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulier vivus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis Sancta Dei Genitris, ordi ne afficiamur promissionibus Christi, Oremus, gratiam tuam quesmus domine mentibus nostris in fundu, ut qui angelo nunciante Christi fili tui incarnationem coniovimus, per passione meus et crucem, ad resurrectionis gloriam perducamur, periundem Christum dominum nostrum. Amen. 